Hello, today we'll deal with a very interesting name, a trade name called Combo Gluze. Combo Gluze. This is a metformin together with a DPP4 inhibitor called Saxagliptin. As we know, I always talk about DPP4 inhibitor having an acronym of VALS. So V A L S S. Villa, Vildagliptin, Alogliptin, Linagliptin, Saxagliptin, and Sitagliptin. And today we're dealing with Saxagliptin together with the metformin, and that is called then Comboglyse. We have a dose of 2.5 milligram of this Saxagliptin, forward slash 850 milligram of metformin or 1000 milligram of metformin, two times daily. So two times daily in the morning, in the evening, together with a meal or after a meal, because metformin is usually causing abdominal discomfort. So it's abdominal pain, therefore we need to take it with a meal. And always with metformin, we always take it two times daily when we combine a medication. When we give it only saxagliptin alone, then we usually give one time daily, for example, five milligram one time daily. But here, when we combine it, always give it 2.5 milligram forward slash 815,000. If it's a GFR more than 45 milliliter per minute, that is a kidney function that is good, then we give it two times daily. If the kidney function is bad, then you give it one time daily, meaning, 2.5 milligram forward slash 850,000 milligram one time daily because that will give a maximum dose of this if if you have a normal kidney function then you have a maximum dose of five milligram of uh, saxagliptin and 2000 milligram of metformin every time when you have a kidney insufficient then you need to reduce the dose with 50 percent of metformin and therefore you only give it once daily when you have a gfr of less than 30 milliliter per minute then it's contraindicated don't give metformin in this case Okay, when we're talking about contraindications, let's jump into the contraindications directly. Contraindications are, as we said, kidney insufficiency. So less than 30 milliliter per minute. But others are, of course, also acute and metabolic acidosis, diabetic pre-coma, type 1 diabetes, any history of lactic acidosis, any hypoxemia, so meaning a low oxygen in the blood. Then we have uh, things like severe infection, severe dehydration, which we usually see in elderly patients. Then when you are giving contrast agent to a patient, iodine contrast agent, then you're not allowed to give it at the same time. So within 48 hours, you should not give it at the same time. Or when you do an operation, you need to stop this medication one day before, and then you need to wait two days after the operation, and then you can continue with it. Then we have patients that have severe heart insufficiency, these are contraindicated, or severe liver insufficiency, or, se or alcoholism related to liver insufficiency, severe kidney insufficiency, which we uh, mentioned. We have also acute pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis, or history of acute pancreatitis, or any type of shock. Shock meaning we have a blood pressure of less than 90, less than 80, we have a severe shock then please don't give it. Which are the side effects? Side effects, for example, can be what? We have headache. We have any type of metallic taste. We have nausea. We have dizziness. We have vomiting. We have tiredness. These are many, many type of side effects that we have tiredness. Then we go downwards. We have, for example, acute pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis. And then we have diarrhea. Orthalgia, meaning joint pain. Any skin reactions usually can be seen in pruritus, or you have low back pain, or you can see any type of hypoglycemia when you combine it with other um, medications. So these are what were most common side effects of uh, metformin usually, as we said, and, he, and lactic acidosis and, and so on. So any type of acidity that is seen. So uh, the Comboglyse is a trade name, as we said, DPP4 is the uh, group of name. Please check that video out and then you will learn more about what DPP4 stands for. And then you will learn about what the special type of groups uh, have, what advantages they have, what disadvantages they have. Here I only deal with this medication, just to print it into your mind that this medication exists. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.